And now we have Blue Thunder that has arrived. Yo, you're back with your boy Speedy, and this is the Blue Thunder build. Um, last night we was here, we was up till late, painting the engine bay. It wasn't quite up to the Triple S, which is the Speedy Shiny standard. So, we're gonna give it another coat of clear coat. I want this to blind you as you open the hood, so it looks nice and clean. Uh, we're gonna give it a clean down, take away any dust that's around, and she should be good. So Speedy J has taken out the front and rear subframe of the car and now it's time for me to come in and use our PMC reinforcement plates. So what we're gonna do is we weld them into the subframe on them and then there's also PMC sells a kit for the chassis of the car so you can reinforce the chassis. <laughs> I started taking it out and I changed my mind because I want a seat while I take the steering wheel. So we're going to change over this steering wheel. We're going to take off the ugly ass stock steering wheel. Uh, we're going to put on a nice shiny racy boy. For anyone who knows, taking these airbags out can be a bit of a pain in the ass. Uh, you need to get torques around the back, you never really find the right one. You look on Google, Google tells you the wrong thing. Uh, but magically, I've got this new trick that I've got to show you and you basically just you give it a little wave and then you just oh, And she's off. That's how we do. So, we've gone from using the pullback style hydro and we've moved over to using the pull up style hydro that sits in the stock in the factory position where the handbrake usually sits. Um, we'll then have more room around the radio. It is designed to be a street car as well. Uh, so we get to keep the stock window uh, switches around here and generally make it look a lot tidier. To do that, I've had to remove the armrest and we're gonna put a flashy panel here so you can still access the reservoir. And I have cut the stock handbrake lines off to make space for it. So it should look something like this. What do you think, Max? It looks good. Looking good. So yeah, we'll have to still have access down here at the reservoir, and this will just look nice and plated off. And you'll still get the angle, and we should even be able to get the nice boot over. So look tidy. All good.
And we're back. We have our rear subframe back from West Coast. It wasn't the original color we was going for. We was going to go for a brilliant white, but it came back and it's sparkly. And Speedy likes sparkly things. So we have our new bushings. Let's have a little look. They're from IRP. We have the four main poly bushings there. And we also have the differential bushing. Chris was nice enough to lend us some butt lube, I mean assembly lube. And we'll be using this to slide them in with a rubber mallet so we don't scratch the paint. What's up guys, we're gonna wrap up today. Quick overview of what we got done. Uh, we removed the seats and we cleaned up the interior a little. We had the NRG steering wheel fitted, the NRG quick release, and we have mocked up the hydro. We're just waiting to, for Cricket to build up a, a nice plate for us so it sits nicely. We got the bushings in the subframe. Nice sparkly powder coat where it coming today. We just need to strengthen up the subframe where it mounts on the chassis, and then we'll be good to go. Be in touch later. Time for beers. <laughs>